Sandbox and today we're going to be playing around a bit more with the ultimate engineered solar system because someone asked in the comments and I, I don't actually get suggestions that often anymore probably because my fan base is dead and my channel is declining but we have a suggestion so we're gonna go ahead and take it so we've got the ultimate engineered solar system and we've got beautiful 416 planets in the habitable zone God, th this, this simulation does really throw you off because look at all of them. H how does this even work? The mathematics have got to be absolutely insane here. I don't want to know how much work went into figuring this out. And then Universe Sandbox 2 team actually making it. That's just, that's just insane. But anyways, here we are with our hundreds of habitable planets, which you can't really see because they all share orbits. Oh my god, and they even made them, like... They've got beautiful atmospheres and stuff. Great. So let's ruin it. Let's see how little of a change it takes to mess this entire thing up. Let's throw a pretty small... Do Sedna. We're going to fire Sedna at this one planet. And we're going to see what kind of an effect we have on the entire system as a whole. It's kind of the domino effect, the butterfly effect. Here we go. We'll keep an eye on its motion and see if we get its speed modified in any meaningful way. So we can see the meters per second it's moving right there. And just to check, I believe every other planet will also be moving the exact same speed. Yep. Oh, was that one off? Yeah, it is off by one meter per second, but this collision should change it a bit more than one meter per second. All right, so we've got boom, collision, and will it affect? Oh, it did. It changed its speed by one meter per second. I was hoping for a little bit more of a change than that, but we'll see if that starts, if that sets it off at all. You know, it could have added a little bit of movement in another direction that wasn't planned for. Generally, this seems pretty damn normal. I do not think we've changed it enough to cause a cataclysmic effect. Alright, looks like we're going to have to work a little bit harder at breaking it. Oh, it does seem to be kind of veering off to the side, further than any of the others. Let's see if that holds up. Is it drifting? Because it should be around the middle of it, you would think, or is it just that part of its orbit? Give it a little bit more time. No, I don't, I don't think we did enough to really break it, so... Let's go ahead and do something a little bit larger. Let's hit it with Pluto. Like, that's that's pretty, pretty large. I think Pluto will be enough to uh, change its speed to a point where we can break the ultimate engineered system. All right. Collision, yeah. Yeah, there we go. That That was actually noticeable. And we left, actually it picked up pretty much all the debris, so that's nice. Alright, but now its speed is off by a bit. And this perfectly balanced system does not work if it's not perfectly balanced. And you can actually see it's moving lower and much further in now. Much further in than the rest of the planets. So the other planets that were around it are now going to start falling out of place very, very slowly, but surely. See, if I turn off the trails, but turn on the labels. So we can see, ah, uh, that's the question. Will it become noticeable? It is noticeable. These two are much closer than these two. That could just be due to where the names are, though. As time goes on, will that slight change affect everything else? 
Well, I mean, it's certainly closer to the star than the other ones. But maybe it doesn't matter. Maybe we have to mess it. Wow, look at that. That is just absolutely insane. <laughs> All right. We are going to hit it with something else to try to force this. I'm gonna hit it with another Pluto, and we'll actually hit it with another one just for good luck. <laughs> I mean, at some point, the orbit is going to get thrown off. No, I, I think we're gonna have to do something larger. All right, let, let's try the moon. We really do just have to get this to uh, fall out of place. More resilient than I thought it would be. I thought it would take like very little to break this system, but there we go. That's gotta be enough. Now it's been hit by the moon twice. This poor planet just being experimented on. It's like, why me? Why me? All right. Oh, there we go. There we go. We very obviously have an issue here. It's getting way closer to this planet. It's actually might collide with it at this rate. Or at least its gravitational pull is going to mess with it. So I guess the moon was enough to throw it off. Or at least two moons. And as time goes on, it's starting to pass by the planets on the other ring here. It's actually going to go into their area. Uh-oh. It's a little dangerous. But that's going to cause them to go off course a tiny bit. Like I said, it's the butterfly effect. It's like a bunch of dominoes hitting each other. Once they start getting wobbly, things start getting real. Uh, we'll turn off this habitable thing. I don't think it's very helpful. But we can see there is a major gap here now. And while things for the most part still look fine, I wonder if I can decrease the trail length. I think that would make it a bit easier to see. Um, let's see, I believe that's actually an option that we can change. Simulation, settings, trail length. No, thought it was a thing I could do. No, doesn't look like it. I tried. That's alright, we can see here. Things are falling apart very slow. Oh! Oh, would you look at that? We're actually getting very, very close this planet here, which is going to cause them to run off course. For the most part, it's not very obvious that something is wrong. Like, if you're looking from here, you'd be like, wow, it's perfect rings. But that can't hold up forever, especially when one thing is out of place. They all pull and push on each other. But how long will it take for the ultimate engineered system to realize that something's wrong? What's going on over here? Oh, something is very wrong. This... This one is just in the wrong place completely. How did he get over there? Well, that planet is now kind of weird. I guess it probably got flung? But now that's another thing that's off. Now we've got two. The perfect system is starting to fall apart. One planet at a time. Oh, there's another one. This one just flew out of its place. It's getting very close to the other planets. So as more and more fall out of place, they get to a position where they can push the other ones out, and here's the original one we had. It's now at a very wide orbit, and there's actually one that got flung all the way out here. So the majority of the planets are still actually fine. They're still following the pattern. 
but the few that are out of place are causing others to fall out of place and get flung. And actually, kind of see, it doesn't. The circle seems to get a little bit wobbly. But I mean, it's pretty resilient considering. I mean, we know what's going to happen. It's going to slowly fall apart. But it's still impressive how far it's made it. Oh. Man, I really thought it would take much less time for this to fall apart. Like, sure, it's going to, but, you know, it's making it pretty far. Give it extra points for that. Oh, another one got flung. Like I said, as time goes on, it's only going to get more and more extreme. And eventually the entire... Oh, there goes another one. We. And another, and another, oh, this is it. The breakdown of society has begun. <laughs> Whoosh. That's our good friend from the beginning still. But I mean, a majority of these planets are still in the habitable zone and they're still perfectly happy, so like, in the end, pretty damn impressive I mean things are getting very wobbly now I mean looking at it kind of all of them are starting to get close to each other the rings aren't holding up like they used to planets are getting closer and further from each other than they were supposed to be so it's pretty obvious at this point that it's unstable but you know it made it for a pretty long time before hitting this point. And even now, if we zoom out far enough, it's almost hard to tell that something's wrong. You know, maybe these few outliers would let you know something was wrong, but for the most part, you can't really tell. Oh, we. The one we're following is actually pretty fun. All right. So that's very interesting, but I want to th throw things out a little bit more than that. That would take way too long. Way too long. Let's go ahead and see what happens if we throw Jupiter in. Not even close. We're just going to fire it through. So now Jupiter is slowly making its way. But Jupiter's got quite a bit of mass. So the star actually has, is one times the sun, which makes it a bit simpler. But Jupiter is going to exert gravitational force on the planets, especially on the side it's coming in on. So the question is if this is going to have any major effect on our planets in the pattern they're going through. Oh, that went straight through the ring. Are they flat still? They are pretty flat still. Huh. You know, I'm, I'm actually surprised how resilient this is. I thought this system was just a disaster waiting to happen. And I mean, it kind of is, but at the same time, Throwing things at it hasn't really done that much damage. Now we're going to try this. We'll shoot through the side so that it will 100% interact with the planets. Alright, so this time it's going to get up close and personal. and won't be able to avoid them like before. And we're going in hot. We Well, I guess we will see what happens. Jupiter's coming in. We can see the orbit of this one. Did it get moved at all? Did they really just ignore Jupiter completely? Like, there's so much mass involved when we're speaking about, like, Jupiter, and it looks like nothing really cares all too much. I mean, Jupiter is moving quickly, but I thought it would have more of an effect. 
And the sun just ended up eating Jupiter. Are there any obvious... No, nothing really happened. Huh. Well, I I'm gonna... Good job, engineered solar system. I... I guess you win. I was thinking that I could easily throw it out of balance and cause just the end of the world for all 500 of these planets, but it really does seem to be more resilient than I originally expected. Um, you can definitely see that Jupiter has kind of broken it because these rings are clearly out of whack. They're much thicker than they should be, so they are kind of getting thrown off and we can oh maybe maybe i just didn't wait long enough yeah okay things are getting kind of crazy now all right looks like jupiter did have an effect i spoke too soon oh boy those are getting very close to a head-on collision huh all right but i guess if we if we think about it look at that it, it broke it it took Jupiter getting a little bit closer, but this is definitely broken. Um, nothing really catastrophic going on. And if you turn the labels on, it's really hard to tell. But I guess that's it. Thank you all for watching. Leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed. I will see you all next time. And thank you for watching. We Time to flee to another universe.